Good evening. Thank you for coming out. Of course, many of you know the events that have occurred through various media outlets. The Carnival Triumph is currently stranded in the Gulf of Mexico. Yesterday, there was a fire in the engine room. Everybody, fortunately, is safe and secure. We don't have any injuries. However, the fire did knock out power. There isn't any electricity right now. We have generators on board. But we are making, we're taking the best advantage of them and we're not going to use them in ways that are going to drain them quickly. Unfortunately, the generators aren't enough power for us to bring Triumph home by itself. We are currently devising a plan to bring Triumph back. To the goal. We want our passengers, families to know that we've set up a hotline. If they go on carnival.com, click on a little button with an 800 number, we have several operators who are standing by to let your fam to let our passengers' families know up-to-date information, what's happening. We want to make sure that they understand what's going on. Of course, all passengers will be refunded. And any fees associated with their trip on the Triumph will be refunded as well. We're going to provide vouchers for another four-day cruise. We're hiring an elite team of engineers. This team of engineers is, they are independent of Carnival Corporation so that there is no bias. We want them to analyze once the Triumph comes back, once we get it back to shores of the United States. We want them to analyze the fire in the engine room, why it happened, what could have been done to have prevented it, and we want their recommendations. And we will implement those recommendations. We're also donating $100 million to Maritime College, University of New York, to demonstrate our investment in the next generation of shipbuilders and engineers. We want to help those who have a desire to get an education beyond high school. Finally, and most important, we apologize to our passengers for what has occurred, what they've gone through should not happen. When people go on vacations, they expect to have fun and enjoyment. They, they spend their hard-earned dollars. They save up their money. They deserve the best. They ought to expect the best. We did not provide that this time. However, we will learn from this, and we will use what has happened on the Triumph to make our company better and stronger. If you have any questions for me, now's the time to ask. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Marilyn Moore from Honolulu Times newspaper. I would like to know any of these passengers who have mental problems after 
getting back to the United States, will they, will your company pay for any of the professional analysis that they might need? It's a good question. That's certainly something that needs to be on the table and needs to be discussed. If there are individuals who, who knows, we might have had people who are afraid of, afraid of going out on the street. And if there were, if there happened to be certain mental health issues that, that grew from what has occurred, then that's something that we certainly need to visit. I can't guarantee it. It's a valid question, and it's something that I feel like we can continue to discuss. And they can go ahead and pass off their free trip that you're going to be supplying, hand it off to someone else in their family or something? That's a good question. Another good question, and I don't have the answer I'm to that. I'm full of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, asking questions. I don't have the answer to that. Yes, ma'am. Donald Cart, Toastmasters News Channel. Um, you indicated that there's going to be an independent firm going into uh, to assess what happened. Do we have any preliminary information on what might have caused the fire? And $100 million seems like a, a rather significant donation. What's the background? What's the reasoning behind that large of a donation? Well, I guess I'll go with the second one first. It's incredibly important to our organization to give back to the community to show that, yes, we are in the business to make money, but there's a bigger, there's a bigger picture in life. And the cost of education continually rises. It's very expensive, especially engineering school. And if there were problems, the ship's engineering, we want this, we want to show our investment in quality and craftsmanship in shipbuilding. And your first question, can you ask, ask them? Any preliminary information on what caused the fire? I don't have that. I don't have that. Okay. Follow up. You seem to focus on the fact that it might be something to do with engineering. You don't, don't have, I don't have that information. I was saying, if it did, which we have excellent engineers, and our ships go through an extensive quality control process before they leave port. But if there was a case where there was an issue, that's why I brought that up. Last question, so you're denying that the crew had anything to do with it? Am I denying that? Yes. Right now, yes. I don't have any. I don't have any evidence to support that. I don't have any evidence not to support it. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Yes, hi, John. My name is Rich Kuhap, and I'm in, I work with Communications Department for Investors Business Daily. And my question surrounds what's going to happen to the share price of of the organization for the long term. I have some investors that have blocks of 100,000 plus shares of Carnival stock and it tanked today over 40% of its value. What are your comments surrounding the future of this company as far as do we hold the stock or do we sell it now or do we buy back into it later? Excellent question. We have the largest fleet of ships and of all cruise lines, and that can be verified. We have a very strong company, a strong base. We have been in existence since 1972. We will get through this. Yes, the shares will take a hit, absolutely. But we expect them to gradually go back to where they were. 
believe we have time for one more question. Okay. Um, Akita Brooks, Courier Post in New Jersey. Um, does the Carnival Cruise Line have an emergency evacuation plan? Was that utilized for the triumph? Fortunately, in this case, the plan, to my knowledge, wasn't wasn't necessary. There, there was a fire that was reported, and our crew was able, they were able to put that fire out very quickly. Now, of course, it doesn't seem like the, it's not the most optimal position right now in the Gulf of Mexico, but our passengers are safe, our crew is safe, and we will bring them home. Mr. Tuskman.